Hi, I'm Ellen Griffith, and this is my online portfolio. So my first, my homepage is just kind of a little description and brief about you know where I'm from and I go to you know obviously the University of Texas. And so I kind of just have a little, I like to just decorate my profile, obviously. So if uh, you see you have a let me introduce myself, that actually goes to my video introduction, just kind of gives a brief overview of who I am and what I'm doing. So if you want to, you can click to the About Me section, and you can do that in two ways, but if you want to click it to me, then you have that option. So this is kind of a big uh, synopsis, it looks kind of scary, but <laughs> it kind of breaks down of you know, school, work, kind of explains who I am, what I do, all that good stuff, and it also gives you the opportunity if you want to connect to my you know, work portfolio. Obviously LinkedIn is the best way of doing that, and so I give you that option if you would like to you know, converse and talk and lot of good stuff. And so the next section is obviously my resume. And so here I have two options. I have an overview of my resume, and at the bottom I also have an actual link, so if they want an actual Word document to print out, save, whatever they can. It kind of gives you my uh, my previous work. So I obviously currently I work for Bank of America as a teller. I used to do retail, and so it kind of dives into all the, the roles I've had and kind of gives you an explanation of you know where I'm trying to go, what I'm trying to do, and I'm going more in the direction I want, which is awesome, and I love that. And so next is my academic projects. So here are a few projects I'm proud of to, to show off. And I love this quote from um, Martin Luther King, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. So it's not just about smarts, you want to actually have something with that, you actually you know, use that education to better yourself and to have good character. So the first project is the newest one, which is obviously in this class, and the reason why I loved it was it's good to have those skills to read something and apply it, because I think all work uh, mentality is when you get those trainings and all that stuff, you have to apply it, you have to use it in a practical way, and sometimes it's kind of hard. You have to kind of slim down on what you need to know. The second project is one I also did in BCOM, and that was grabbing the attention of the Chamber of Commerce of Dallas and basically figuring out a way to um, have, a, have the support and their funding and why it's important. And so we had a touchy subject about drunk driving, and so we basically convinced them of how we could use a little bit of money to actually save lives. And my last thing, my final project was a marketing plan. And so this company was uh, kind of new. It was a baby company. And so they didn't really have their foot. They, they were in some big companies like Target and stuff like that, but they haven't really expanded and grabbed you know new markets. So here I learned a lot about how to do that, how to budget, how to see where you can go with you know, a product and all that good stuff. So that was a good experience. And so my next thing is kind of what my passions are. So um, I kind of grew up <laughs> back to this kind of background. And the trouble is that you think you have time. I like to think uh, that you, you know, sometimes you really got to put your foot in the door and you got to do some heavy lifting and help out your community. So I have three things. I have Capital Area Food Bank, and that is just obviously um, giving food and supporting the needy. The second is Church on the Bridge. It's a homeless ministry, and it brings the community together and, you know, kind of a touch on that. The last is Salvation Army. Obviously, you know, they take all kinds of donations, and they're all over the U.S., and they definitely do a good job about doing that. And if you have any questions or if you ever want to contact me, you can click on the contact, and you can do email, phone number, or anything else. Thank you, guys.